When Cynthia Kraft was in Iraq, moments with her two-year-old son Isaac were far into the future. She did two tours near Baghdad. I was in a, on a QRF team where I was a lead driver and we would leave the FOB every day, sometimes more than once, if we were to get blown up and um, we were called to a certain rally point where we would have to go find or look for where that mortar round was sent from, you know. And while she was in Iraq, her oldest daughter, Abby, was diagnosed with cancer. She had a tumor on her right kidney, and I tried my hardest to get back home, and that's what happened. I came home to be with her, and she struggled and struggled, and she, she passed away. She relapsed three times, passed away when she was four years old. When folks gather at the Texas Panhandle War Memorial on Veterans Day, they remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice, but also honor those like Cynthia Kraft, who have given a large part of their lives in service. This memorial is to honor those people who have served our nation in all our wars. And it's really important that we not forget that we honor their sacrifice, but also that we're inspired for what they fought for. L.D. Weeks was the first one that uh, he actually came up to Randall County and, and asked them uh, what they were going to do with the properties. Pete Garcia, and he was part of the VVA, which is the Vietnam Veterans of America, uh, along with Terry Kirby and a lot of others. And they were uh, granted uh, the, uh, the area to, to build the Texas Panhandle War Memorial. That changes, uh, life changes whenever you go to war and to lose friends, I mean, right there next to you. And you lose friends that live in the same town as you. And it just gives you more, more of a reason to follow up and honor these people. The American veteran, they're the base and the foundation of this nation. And they're still out here and they still exist and they're still willing to give their life for this great country. Without people that will do things like that and go overseas, for our freedom. I mean, where would our children be tomorrow, you know? Stop. <laughs> Celebrating the Panhandle spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC7 News.